Viewers at home, I have a slight problem on my hands. You see, one of the main goals with this channel is to provide you viewers at home with the resources that you need to be able to access all kinds of new AI technology. And there's a number of ways that I attack this issue. First of all, the videos, of course, that you guys watch at home. I try my best to make them appear often entertaining, but also informative and easy to watch. I also have the Discord server, which if you aren't joined already, you should really join it because I have an entire channel dedicated to the latest AI news, three different bots that you can generate with, and a lot of other resources as well. And this third one that I have, which is called the AI Master List, has been a difficult one for me and it's my problem. You see, the AI list needs to be updated with the best AI tools, but I simply don't have time to update it manually, especially with all the submissions you guys send my way. So a solution that I actually have is the website we're taking a look at today, but I am going to partner with this website and replace it with my AI master list because I think it's a really great way for you viewers at home to explore different new AI technology. What we are looking at today is known as Futurepedia. It actually went viral on Reddit a little bit ago, but the owner of this website reached out to me as I actually talked about in my last AI news video, and he was wondering if I would feature this in a video, and I finally got around to taking a look at it, and it's really sort of accomplishing the same goal that I originally wanted to accomplish with my AI master master list of all of the different AI products out there. So I figured why not cover it in a video and add it to my descriptions as well as add it to my discord as a good resource for you guys to explore new AI tools. So there's a few different key features that I really like about this website. It's a very simple and easy to explore website. It has a search tool adds over five new tools every single day. So yes, it's updated very frequently. Word on the street is that it doesn't have everything yet, but I like the way the website is laid out so much that I think even though not every single little tool is on here now, one day it probably will be, and a nice layout is definitely worth the first investment. Anyways, you can actually log in with this website, which you do up in the top right-hand corner, and the only real use case for logging in is to be able to add different AIs to your favorites so you just get quick links. So let's say I'll just take these three random ones, add them to my favorites by clicking this button right here. And now if I go into my favorites, we can see all of these AIs are categorized in my favorites section. And you can actually copy your own favorites link and share it around so you can make your own AI lists and share them around, which is pretty cool. That's the only real point of logging in, but I think it's definitely worth it because you'll just be able to keep track of all your favorite AI sites and tools. They've also got a discover option, which will show you AIs that aren't necessarily really popular or well known on the website, but they're like up and coming, really cool, gaining traction kind of a thing. Like right now, the first one that it shows me is Spellbook, which I've never heard of. Draft contracts three times faster with Spellbook. It uses GPT-3, obviously OpenAI's text model, and it will review and suggest language for your contracts in Microsoft Word. Trained on billions of lines of legalese, Spellbook suggests language for your contracts instantly. So this could be really useful, you know, if you're a startup business or something like that, you need to write contracts. Really, really cool little AI. And they show you a few more down here as well. They've also got a submission one, so this is where you can just submit tools to be added, and you can add tags to them when you submit them, as well as features, basically categorizing it. So if you know about an AI that you think needs to be added, I highly suggest you go and submit it in here so we can all benefit from having a nice resource. And now obviously something like Futurepedia is going to be completely free for you guys to use. You know, there's no paid anything for using Futurepedia to discover and categorize your favorite AIs. Let's get into what I was talking about, about the simplicity of the website and the way it's categorized and laid out. Obviously, like I said earlier, we have this search function, but they show you some common searches such as free. That's the first one I think a lot of people are going to want to know. What are the free AIs I can try and use right now and mess around with? Well, you can just hit free and search all free AIs. And you'll notice when you scroll down, freemium. What does freemium mean? There is a free way to use it, but not access to all features or completely free, obviously, which means every part of the AI is free on whatever website it's on. And obviously there's also versions of these bubbles that are paid or free trial labeled. 
So we have really good labels on these AIs to distinct whether they're completely free or like a freemium or just a free trial or completely paid. Very important to you AI consumers at home. And what's also really cool is that if something is open source, it will be labeled in here as open source, which is super cool. So you know, if you're a developer at least, which projects are open source and you can go off and mess around with yourself. Obviously, we've also got some hashtags here. And you can search hashtags as well. So hashtag audio or hashtag speech. Getting to the other design features of Futurepedia. As you can see, there's this little category button that is under all right now. If we click on this, we can either search for a category or scroll down and see any number of different categories we could pick from for all of these different AI tools. So obviously right now there's 260 total tools. This is growing every day, but we've got 108 text-based tools. 61 image-based tools, 55 marketing-based tools, 33 code-based audio, and you sort of get the idea from here. Let's go to video, for example. This is something that I think a lot of people would be really interested in. These are all video-based tools. And again, we can see if they're free trial or paid, designs AI, create logos, videos, banners, mockups with AI in two minutes. And we can see, oh, it's a free trial one I'm interested in. Topaz video AI. This again, freemium. So you can use functions of it for free, but to unlock the full kahuna, you gotta pay. Or Waymark, this is an AI video creator. Apparently it will be able to create fully customized sample commercials, but this one is fully paid. So you can't even use this one without paying. And if that's something we're just not interested in, completely don't have to bother with it. So what's also really interesting about Futurepedia is that we have a verified option in here. So this is a really cool feature that I think takes Futurepedia to the next level, pushes it further beyond just being a really nice curated list. This check mark and verified check mark, similar to something you'd see on like Twitter or Instagram, the Futurepedia team has used this tool and recommends it. So this is like the Nintendo seal of approval kind of a deal where if you look at these verified AIs, you can see, yeah, this is a legit tool. It's safe. You know, it's user friendly and it works well. And they actually will recommend it as the team of Futurepedia. So, you know, obviously your big guys like Midjourney are going to be verified. Dolly 2 is verified on here. There's a few other ones that I haven't seen that are interesting, like Excel Formula Bot, Quillbot, Paraphraser. So they, these are all verified. They're used. You know they're going to be pretty good. This is just a really honest website. And also, look, we have waitlist ones too. So AIs that aren't even out yet are listed in here. So if you want to just sign up for all the AI waitlists, you can do so in bulk just by going in here and searching waitlist. So you wanna get access to the latest and greatest immediately? Join all these waitlists. It tells you how much they're gonna cost. It tells you whether they're verified or they're new or they're popular, different categories. It's just a really nice, well-designed website. That's, again, the reason I wanted to partner with them and have Futurepedia linked to my Discord and in my videos and stuff like that. So you guys will just have a really easy way to just have a nice categorized place for all of these AI tools I discuss on the channel. Why don't we try some AI tools out? I've picked a few ones that piqued my interest. The first one is this logo designer, which is like super popular on Futurepedia. Never heard of it. It's called Luca. Enter your company name. All right. Pick your industry. Um, YouTube channel. Pick some logos that you like. Um, I like this Johnny Rockets one. Colors, obviously green and yellow. The colors of lemons. Add a slogan. Continue. Some symbol types. I want to pick my own symbols. Well, we're definitely like a YouTube channel. This one's super sick. And now they're generating logos for me. And here we go. We actually got some pretty decent logos. Oh, they want me to sign up. Wow. Okay. I just put lemons as the slogan, if you couldn't already tell, but this is really, really cool. It did the colors and everything, and it's making it look all professional. I like it. I really like this for like little business startups. You could really go far with a tool like this for completely free. And of course, we found it through Futurepedia. This one's pretty dope. And they show you like what it would look like on your phone or whatever. This is a really, really, really well-designed website. Bravo, Luca. This one was also another free one here. This was Andy, a smart search assistant. Best store for organic lemons. Let's see, Andy, can you help me out? Wow, okay, it actually kind of did the job here quickly. I found this on Yelp.com. Okay, so it's kind of like a better Alexa. The best 10 organic stores in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. That's not where I live. 
All right, well, we, we got a bunch of, like, search results. I guess it's more curated than something like Google. Let's ask it, like, a really random question. Who invented the microphone? Invented by Thomas Edison and David Hughes. And I guess it's citing Wolfram Alpha, so that's pretty dang legit. Ribbon Dynamic Microphone. Okay, so it's giving us some different types of microphones and stuff, but this is a really good little search tool for completely free that you guys can try out. Found through Futurepedia. Again, I think I've heard of this one before, but I've never really seen it. It also has settings and stuff too. This is a really, really cool proof of concept. This is better than Alexa, that's for sure. Also this other one called Podcast AI, which is like free, but it's not really you interacting with it. It's like a podcast completely made by AI, completely generated by AI. So it's just a really, really cool little art project almost. So there's two latest episodes here that we can see. They're about 20 minutes a piece. And they've got Lex Friedman interviews Richard Feynman and Joe Rogan interviews Steve Jobs. So not only are we having realistic sounding voices that sound like Joe Rogan and Steve Jobs, but their entire conversation is fully generated by AI. So it's just a really crazy time that we're living in where you can have fully generated podcasts of people who have never interviewed before in their life. And it's pretty accurate, too, if you listen to it but I knew how to ask good questions. I knew how to push back on things that didn't seem true to me. And I think that's perhaps one of the key elements in being very innovative and creative. Do you still believe some of the things that you believe then? Are you semi-religious or something? Are you a Buddhist? I get asked that a lot. I think it's impossible to have somebody show you who they are and what they believe in one interview or even over a period of time I think the best way I can answer that is by telling you, I've told the story before, but it's well documented. I was on a plane flying home with Liz and we were talking about- That really does sound like a podcast. He was about to go on a whole story with that question. And it sounds shockingly like Joe Rogan and Steve Jobs. Like their vo the voices are really, really accurate. So this is just super, super cool. I really suggest giving these a listen if you're interested in stuff like that. It's it's pretty cool. Anyways, folks, yes, so that is Futurepedia. I definitely recommend you guys check this out as a nice master list, a nice curated list and categorized all neatly of a bunch of different AI tools. You can really discover a lot of great free AI tools this way, a lot of like freemium or free trial ones that you might not have heard about. And, you know, they also have a bunch of waitlist tools as well. So you can really stay up to date on AI tools that are going to release soon and you can get first access to them. Anyways, folks, please check out the Discord and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.